Okay, so before I get started talking specifically about uh, Raiko slash Ushi Gozen, I just want to like talk about like my feelings of like trying to compare to Dante's and also rant about OG Scotty for a second. So this unit is not meant to be a looper. She is so heavily, heavily focused on raw damage and crit damage in a way that Edmund Dante's just isn't. Avenger. Aoe. Dante's base MP is hitting here. But you also have to remember this is a buffed MP number one. Number two, this is with his 50% attack buff. Raiko doesn't have one turns except uh, on her battery, which is MP damage. And at a lower amount too. So base to base, they probably do about the same for MP damage. But as you can see, Raiko has traits. Dante's doesn't have traits. And if you hit this one, which A, you're already gonna be hitting neutral. B, almost every single demonic servant is earth attribute. There are like a couple that aren't. So this number is way more realistic than you think. And if you are fighting an earth attribute servant or earth demonic and earth attribute, which are again, common, you will be hitting this damage. This plus Dante, like it, Dante's higher MP gain, battery, uh, battery and 50% MP gain. 8 hit MP. No shit he's going to be looping better. All his numbers say he would be looping better. But this servant just has so much raw like damage. You are so like if you don't kill in the MP, you're going to kill on the face card and the face card is going to refund. But again, I don't think that's the strength of quick, but it's not a strength people want to focus on because it's RNG dependent. If you don't have cards then you're screwed, your run is ruined and you don't have anything to help you refund and your three turn setup just got fucked up what i will say is that this her issue with looping stems not from her but from og scotty og scotty's 50 percent battery that does nothing else is outdated at this point it's been outdated since i felt like after vich came out it was like okay Castoria literally gives attack and MP gain for a split 50 battery. Vich gives a 50 battery that also reduces cooldown. I don't even care that the cooldown is higher. You don't care about how high cooldown is for a farming servant. For challenge quests, yeah, that's more annoying. But on a challenge quest, you're also doing card refund. And more likely than not, it's not the standard three turn. You're expecting units to die. You're plug suiting in. You're uh, having other units come in after units die challenge quests are messy min turns are messy and for min turns you especially don't care about the cooldowns for support because the fight should be over if you're min turning you shouldn't have a chance to reset your cooldowns again unless you're using bitch which is a different story scotty has needed her battery to get buffed to give mp gain for years it will fix 99% of the issues that quick units have and will bring OG Scotty back into the meta because she will be the farming quick Scotty. OG, like ruler Scotty is nice for farming, but it's attack and quick up. That's it. That hit helps you get overkill. That's not helping you actually loop. Okay, so rant over. Let's get started to talk about this unit. And I'm putting her in a vacuum. I don't want to compare it to Dante's because I really do feel they're two different types of units. Like Dante is meant to do looping and can do challenge quest stuff with his buff uh, that removes uh, his buff that removes buffs on crits. And then Ushi goes in that is doing crits and can do splash damage on her MP. Very similar to Takaru. That's honestly how I like to think of her. Like, she's the quick version of Takaru, where she's like, 
hitting one enemy really, really, really hard, and then everyone else's splash damage. Base attack. This is lower than the average for Avengers, but if you compare it to other five stars, this is insanely high. 20 uh above 20k and you're looking really good and not only that <coughs> avengers also have a positive modifier on their damage so this number goes up even higher in comparison to like a saber it's closer to one three uh thirteen thousand six hundred attack effectively This is the kind of base stats you want for a neutral looper. You want them to hit really hard so that they can hit overkill quicker and loop better. This unit is gonna have, with the refund issues, you're going to need to really be banking off overkill. So MP1 is going to be an issue for people. I haven't been really recommending like someone for MP2 for a while, but this is like the refund numbers I've seen from her, she's MP1 really isn't enough if if you want her to be like looping from zero not until uh scotty come gets uh her battery buff hp it's lower but it, she's an avenger what do you expect what do you do you expect an avenger to be as tanky as a ruler i'm sorry you are sadly fucking mistaken star weight sergeant normal avenger numbers big issue mp charge now in my head uh, cause I use Charlemagne a lot and based on the numbers I saw, she's looping almost exactly like half of Charlemagne. Half of Charlemagne sounds really good until you realize like quick unit and that's 40%. If she, if Scotty got her, um, her battery buffed, she gave a 30% targeted mp game buff that number theoretically would shoot up closer to 50 and then she has her avenger passive and then she'd get to 50 easier it's such a simple buff and it would mean the world to almost every single quick servant every one every single one of them will be able to like most of them will probably actually be able to get off having needing to start with k-scope with a buff like that and then every other one and then it just trickled down so at the lowest end, all quick units got buff. At the highest end, all quick setups got buff. That's just my opinion on that. Uh, I don't have the actual numbers for this, but I've been playing the game enough to like see the numbers and like have a educated guess on where things are going. Um, I would definitely like look into plushy uh Cadroth that have uh more res not more resources available i could be doing this too but i i personally don't have the time to do all the math or everything uh <laughs> like and this isn't to scare you off summoning for the servant it's not i think they're very strong but there are issues with the meta not the unit uh like very similar situation to Melison when she first came out yeah it's cool she had 100 percent battery but she couldn't three turn uh and then oberon came out and now she could three turn and now she's like super broken if this unit if they actually do plan on buffing scotty it makes way more sense why her numbers would be gimped because they are building her to work with that scotty not the current bodies but don't take my word of gospel i don't have inside knowledge this is really just me making a prediction these cards are so fucking good three hit six hit quick cards on a quick avenger gain isn't high but you don't need it to be high to be get like to understand how much refund she will get when she quick uh crits on these it's she she's not gonna go zero to 100 but this is gonna like give her a very sizable chunk of her mp possibly like closer to 50 percent her arts card is still good five four hits 
like still again on this again but it's better than uh yui's arts card it's better than uh yori's arts card it's not the strongest one but this is still gonna be a good arts card it makes up for there only being one of them and then the buster is for star gen you don't really care but it's nice to have extra attack it's average uh high attack mid gain and then low star gen it's gonna be okay it's not gonna be amazing but it's gonna be okay also this is my favorite ascension for her uh not the biggest fan of this one uh and yeah i i just prefer she looks cooler like this and i do understand where this version comes from uh but we're not talking about that because that's easy demonetization i know i'm not getting monetized but uh, i get i i do gotta start thinking about that for me all right first skill power mod against demonic power mod against servant with earth attribute and 30 percent crit damage for three turns that's a lot of that's a lot of damage like i said at the start these power mods inter add into each other they are very commonly overlap so you're very likely to see the full value of it if you ever bring her to fight a demonic servant because like i said most of them are earth attribute 300% damage and the crit damage is nice but this is her lowest source of crit damage in her entire kit this unit has like 200% crit damage in their kit and that's not an exaggeration 30% quick 30% buster and for every time you hit with a quick card you get 20% crit damage for three turns so if you pop an MP followed by two quick cards, pop an MP followed by uh, a quick card and then pop it. No, that, run it out. That's 100% crit damage. Off her own shit. Not even including Scotty. Like this is a servant that probably actually will hit the crit cap uh, very quickly. Like, Riku is very similar, but Riku is attack down, which, depending on who you're using, like, Riku is triple quick, so you probably would want two OG Scotties, not ruler. Raiko is the same way. She'd want one ruler and two OG Scotties, just because she only has the one Buster card. You can't calculate that the one Buster card is going to be on wave three. You cannot predict that, because more times than not, it's not going to be there. I would rather bank on having a quick card than having a buster card on way three to do massive damage. And the best part, this activates first. This isn't a buff where uh, you're not going to see the benefit after using it. No, you are going to see this benefit. You are going to like see your quick crit value go up every time you're hitting the quick crit. Third skill. If you're able to save this for wave three and farming, you probably should. It's just gonna be a whole lot harder to do that with her current refund. Star weight, 2000%. Not where it needs to be, but it's still better than what it could be. Realistically, this is better than a Berserker getting 5,000, but it's star weight calculations like there's always a chance the stars go to somewhere else, someone else not all of them but enough to take away from uh ushi goes in crits and not make them 100 percent. luckily she's quick so if you leave with a quick mp uh and do a mighty chain your crits are a little more secure but again you can't really be banking on it that much 50 percent crit damage 30% MP damage and a 50% battery. I'm 90% sure this is uh, on a six turn, but let's check here. I don't know why the wiki's not showing it. Six, six, six. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why the wiki isn't showing that it's a uh, six turn. 
yeah um this is way more da damage than dante's has in, in his entire kit way more damage he only has an attack buff which ruler scotty gives him an attack buff so diminishing return on that it's still good but it's not gonna be as good as it was when he didn't have the attack buff scotty can't give mp gain or mp damage sorry so she has options but the numbers just don't work with her unfortunately passive skills 14 percent mp gain buff when getting attacked and the avenger passive so if you're using karen uh what she goes in in the back line karen gets her buff, her passive proc and she gets an attack buff because she's technically debuffed oblivion correction for eight percent more crit damage four percent per turn basically madness enhancement ex for 12 percent buster performance it's Ryko. what do you expect even this version you expect her not to have madness enhancement you are a fool and the last one divinity for tickle and another 20 percent crit damage so let's let's just count this up again 30 130 yeah sorry 180 188 do 108 percent crit damage in her own goddamn kit and then she's a quick servant so you're probably getting uh if you're running double normal scotty that's another 200 percent crit damage for quick cards ruler scotty it brings it down but you're still you're gonna have still an attack buff and a quick buff to go with it this like this care like dante's can't hit this crit damage if you bring dante's he will hit uh not like a wet noodle but he's not gonna hit anywhere close to this kind of crit damage like if ushi goes in was a single target no one would be having these like issues with her she'd be fucking insane but then she's comp competing with tyra and just blows tyra out of the water if tyra's not fighting genji It like th this is a whole damned if they do, damned if they don't situation. Um, thank God it's not the hardest situation to fix. Like this is not a brave Liz situation. I'm gonna keep shitting on brave Liz because it's it's such a low hate king free fruit. This is not a servant that needs a uh, rework. This is a servant that just needs a meta shift. Her pen skill is anti berserker and lit. Do you know what Dante's uh, third append is? The anti Avenger. How often does this come up in farming? How often would this come up in farming? This would let her hit overkill and loop against Berserkers better than what would normally be happening. It would kind of fix the overkill issue. But from what I've seen, and I think it was lushy that did the video against all berserkers she's looping like 30 percent against uh only riders and casters she's hitting the 50 that she needs to be looping starting from zero if i'm not mistaken on that mana loading on this if you're using summer chloe I would definitely go mana loading. Summer Chloe will fix some of the issues, but you're still going to have issues. That's you upping the cost for your entire team by putting Summer Chloe out. Uh, again, Summer Chloe fixes refund issues. She does. But <laughs> you are driving the cost of your party sky high for that. The LDR, all of her pens are good. She doesn't have a bad one. Especially this one, if I'm calling her like a crit servant, she'd want her extra attack buff to get more refund off the extra attack. NP. The reason I say she's uh, splash damage. Fix it AoE, damage to all enemies, 
reduced crit attack chance 30 percent for three turns the raiko buff or stand, like this standard for raiko and then a 40 percent chance is done like caution koji i could have fucking got oh my god i don't know who i actually would have been more upset if i got spooked on uchi gozen's banner because i got spooked by jack again on that same account summoning on this banner if i got caution koji i think i actually might have like been really pissed because they were like their mps are so similar think i'm fine getting jack because i don't have to spend time like farming up new shit but i still wish i got this servant it would have been two multis snipe and i'm out like mist unfortunate i don't really care about this part though she has super effective against earth attribute enemies not servants just enemies so in normal farming you're gonna see earth attribute and demonic more likely than not and then when you come up against a servant you get a power mod multiplying with super effective damage it's the reason this number is sing like single target number hits harder than jolter Wait, where are you? All right. Yeah. It's harder than an MP1 Jolter on full niche. And like I said, this isn't. Uh, hang on. Make it bigger. 80,000. Jolter's MP1 damage is 77. She hits harder than Jolter and will crit easier than Jolter and just has better uptime than Jolter. It's way easier and better on your mind to think of this as a single target servant for right now. Her numbers are good enough that she does like whether she's popping her MP or not, she's gonna hit very hard. Sorry, here for base crit like base. Uh, sorry, I'm. I feel like I'm losing oxygen for how much I'm talking right now. Like I'm getting very long, long winded on this. I need to wrap up this video. The LDR, the MP is fine. It will hit very, very hard. Mats to ascend. She thirsty. She thirsty. Five different gold mats. I need a farm for these because I, even if I got her, I would not even be able to get her past its second ascension. Not, not currently. Oh boy. But that's a me issue, not a you issue. Uh, my pens are a lot easier, way less gold mats, but no, that doesn't help the issue. Uh, if you are lacking in materials, this is going to be a nightmare for you to try level. Pawn CE, power mod against earth attribute, power mod against demonic enemies. I truly, truly think this servant is worth summoning for, but the current meta isn't there for her. If you get this servant, you are making an investment on this character being really really strong but here's the massive butt for this riku is just easier to work with because she's a berserker uh and like this applies to everything even like challenge quest riku with her defense down it makes working with uh, like a variety of different serpents work better because you have multiplicative buffs this is a niche unit he's hitting niches he's not going to be applicable for everything you have very specific um servants and i can't believe i didn't actually bring this up until now what servants if you go through almost go through these servants almost all of them have earth attribute and for a TLDR and what Earth attribute is, it's servants that are born from the planet. Like you're non-humans. 
very very few earth attributes uh unless their legend has to do with the planet or be or um elementals natural beings fey you name it they're more likely going to be man man attribute like some of the knights of the round table are man attribute but i believe saber is earth let me double check that yes because of excalibur oh wait no almost all the knights are uh earth attribute yeah almost all the knights of the round table are earth attribute because of fey like this is like again it's not an uncommon niche uh and there are a couple rulers that have earth attribute wait uh is Mel no wait are you uh, demonic beast but not demonic yeah uh Raiko is a servant you have to know who you're fighting to take the get the full benefit if you don't know who you're fighting you're gonna be lacking she's gonna feel underwhelming but that's what i have to say about this is it's this is going to be a debated topic for a while um and especially until og scotty gets buffed because it has to be help it has to be help uh happening everyone thought the battery was gonna get buffed not the mp i don't think like two years ago i don't think people were expecting her mp to get buffed before her battery but here we are two years and some change later and that battery still isn't buffed and they made a new scotty that has a 50 battery and actually does something that is now better at farming than the one that should be better at farming I, I can't keep ranting about this. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.